In humans, it is known that B12 deficiency results in skeletal abnormalities, but the mechanism of this regulation is not clear. To understand how uh, vitamin B12 regulates liver metabolism, we performed a metabolomic analysis on mouse vitamin B12 deficient livers. This showed that B12 deficient livers were defective in the production of an amino acid, taurine. This led us to investigate the importance of taurine in the B12 dependent regulation of bone formation. In collaboration with a Finnish lab, we did a metabolomic study and we found that those mice that didn't have B12, they have a strong alteration in taurine levels. Following this path, we found that taurine is helping the growth hormone pathway. Locally, at liver level, producing one of the growth hormones and also targeting bone. So taurine is helping growth hormone to act in bone. The results are very simple, although it took us four years to find it. In the stomach, there is a protein known as gastric intrinsic factor that regulates absorption of a vitamin, vitamin B12. Vitamin B12, after its absorption, is stored in the liver, where it regulates synthesis of an amino acid, taurine. Taurine then enters the bloodstream, goes to the bones, and affects bone formation, and only bone formation. So you have two different kinds of bone cells. You first of all have the osteoblasts, which make or form new bone, and you have the osteoclasts, which resorb the existing bone. And using the microscopic techniques, we could see that there was indeed a problem with the functioning of the osteoblasts, the bone forming cells. So this led us to conclude that B12 and taurine are involved in regulating osteoblast function. While we were studying the effect of B12 deficiency in the mouse, we noticed that depending on how much vitamin was transferred from the mother to their offspring, their offspring either developed an early onset osteoporosis or a late onset osteoporosis. If the mothers were B12 proficient, their offspring grew normally and uh, developed osteoporosis later on in their life. But if their mothers were B12 deficient, they did not grow well and developed osteoporosis as early as four weeks of age. If we give a single injection of vitamin B12 to the mother, it can prevent the growth retardation and bone defects in the offspring. Treatment with taurine is not that simple. It is not like B12, which is a very stable molecule. Taurine is very unstable, and it does not stay in the body for a very long time. However, if we overcome this stability issue by giving the offspring daily oral administration of taurine, it can prevent osteoporosis in the offspring. So the next step was indeed to treat uh, the B12 deficient animals with taurine because we knew taurine levels were very low in them. And when we treated the mice um, with taurine, it was an actually very exciting because what we saw is that the mice completely recovered, they were completely rescued, they grew normally, they developed a normal bone mass and they were completely um, comparable with uh, non-B12 deficient animals. In the present study, we show that vitamin B12 affects the production of a liver-derived amino acid taurine that regulates bone. The next stage of this research is to see whether the treatment with B12 or taurine works in humans as well as it does in mice.